most of us naturally prefer using one hand over the other for various tasks, a trait known as handedness. While it might seem like a trivial aspect of our daily lives, handedness offers intriguing insights into the workings of the human brain and the factors that influence our development. By exploring why we have dominant hands, what influences this preference, and whether or not we can train ourselves to be truly ambidextrous, we can gain a deeper understanding of the interplay between genetics, environment, and neuroplasticity. Handedness is a distinctive human trait that's been observed throughout history and across cultures. Uh, approximately 90% of people are right-handed, while the remaining 10% are left-handed. This asymmetry in hand preference is unique to humans and a few other species, suggesting that it's evolved to confer certain advantages. The origins of handedness can be traced back to our evolutionary history. Early humans used tools and weapons which required precise motor skills and coordination. The development of handedness likely provided a survival advantage by allowing individuals to specialize in certain tasks, improving efficiency and effectiveness. Over time, this specialization may have been reinforced by genetic and social factors leading to the predominance of right-handedness in the population. Uh, ancient cave paintings dating back thousands of years often depict right-handed individuals using tools and hunting, uh, suggesting that handedness has uh, deep evolutionary roots. This right-handed bias is evident not only in the archaeological record, but also in the way ancient were designed and used. The consistency of this pattern across different cultures and time periods points to a significant evolutionary advantage of having a dominant hand. Genetics plays a significant role in determining handedness as well. The studies of families and twins have shown that handedness tends to run in families suggesting a heritable component. However, the genetic basis of handedness is complex and not determined by one single gene. Instead, it appears to involve multiple genes, each contributing a small effect. Recent research has identified several genes that may be associated with handedness, including those involved in brain development and the formation of neural connections. These genes influence the development of the brain's asymmetry, which in turn affects hand preference. Uh, for example, certain genes may promote the development of the left hemisphere of the brain, which is typically dominant for right-handed individuals. Despite these genetic influences, Handedness is not solely determined by genetics. Environmental factors and developmental processes also play roles in shaping hand preference. For instance, studies have found that left-handedness is more common among individuals with a family history of left-handedness, including a genetic predisposition. However, environmental factors can modulate this genetic disposition, leading to the development of a dominant hand. The environment and experiences during early development significantly impact handedness. Prenatal factors such as hormone levels and fetal positioning can influence the development of hand preference. Uh, for instance, exposure to higher levels of testosterone has been linked to an increased likelihood of left-handedness. Postnatal experiences also contribute to handedness. Infants initially use both hands equally, but as they grow and 
this preference is reinforced by repeated use and practice leading to the development of a dominant hand. Uh, for example, a child who consistently reaches for objects with their right hand will gradually develop better motor skills and coordination with that hand, reinforcing their preference. Cultural and society Just a 
studies have found that the non-dominant hand can achieve significant gains in strength and coordination through specific targeted exercises. But these improvements often plateau and the dominant hand continues to outperform the non-dominant hand in most all tasks.
podcast not only provides a window into our evolutionary history, but also offers a unique perspective on the intricate workings of the human brain. By exploring the mysteries of handedness, we enhance our understanding of what it means to be human and the remarkable diversity of our species.